All right, thanks for checking out our channel. Here's going to be a repair video, I hope, on a older style Zariba Red Snapper Li30C. It's a 30 mile fence charger. One was built back in 2008, 08, the first two digits of the year it was built. Um, <clears throat> pop the note open here in a minute, see what it says about it. I don't think it says much, but we'll plug it in here in a minute and just see what it does or doesn't do, one of the two. <clears throat> So if I send one to us, we have to take a peek at it. We get uh, we're working all brands, all ages of these fence chargers. You pop the note open real quick, see what it says on it. It says, oh, come on, it has the guy's name and address. Clicks, but no voltage. Let's just verify that. clicks that's a good sign it means the board's working fine let's hook up our tester here barely anything at all barely making the needle jump just barely flickering that little needle uh, bad transformer easy fix now they don't make We'll open this up here real quick. I don't think they make the transformer for this model anymore, but we've got one that will work. It's actually made for a, a unit a little bit bigger than this one, jewel wise. I think it's about this thing right around a jewel, give or take. The transformer we're going to put in is made for like I think a four jewel. All right, there's a capacitor sitting right there, so we got to be careful of that thing. That's um, it, oh, just charged. Uh, let's, let's set this off to the side. Well, let's check this capacitor real quick just for the heck of it. it says it. Let's see. Whoops. It is. I don't know what size it is. Come on. It is a seven and a half microfarad capacitor so we'll uh, put a meter on capacitance see what it reads there's no polarity to the capacitors 7.25 roughly so pretty darn close seven and a half so capacitors fine but this is our issue right there transformer so I said they don't make the transformer for this version anymore, but you could take a transformer for one of the newer model red snappers and it will slip right in here. So let's get this board kind of lifted up. Just gonna move it off the side. Let's get these knobs off the front here. There's a nut behind this these knobs that'll loosen those up. We'll be able to pull this um, transformer out. Okay. Let's recess down this little washer looking thing here. transfer we're going to use right there
just pull the, pull the pulls right out of there and I'll keep those. And then I'm also going to keep these. I'll use them in, in other applications. Keep those for a rainy day spare. But the transformer itself, this thing's in the old trash. Alright. Got four wires on here. We got thicker wires and a thinner wire. The thicker wires are primary. And it's gonna sit down inside like that basically. Now these wires are probably gonna be a little too short to plug right into the original board. The original spot where the old where the old transfer was plugged in at. So we're gonna have to splice them together. I'll cut a little bit off because I don't need all this exposed. And then we're going to snip off some of that, snip off some of this. I'll strip it back and then we're gonna splice splice them into this transformer here. And then like solder and we're gonna solder it, heat shrink it. Get some heat shrink here. And now we're going to solder and tin the wires on here. Before I put that on there, cut this. Uh, that'll be long enough or big enough around, so we'll just cut that in half. Slide it down a little ways. Hold these together. Do the same thing here. Both up. They both got solder on them, so we'll heat them both up side by side. The solder will kind of flow together and they'll blend. And then we'll take the heat gun that's plugged in. Yep. So now let's take the heat shrink and we'll slide it up over the con connection there. Okay, and we'll take heat gun, seal it off. All right, so that's good. Now we're going to cut back this primary, secondary wire. Skinny of the two wires are set, so we're going to put a couple ring connectors on this. Crimping tool here, we'll crimp that on there. All right, we need the uh, bolts here, and I usually kind of shove these things through. And I'll put this on there as well. Kind of use it like a kind of like a lock washer. Put it on there. 
shove it in there and then we'll make sure it's all the way in there flush and then we'll, that little washer thing fell out so put that back on there put the nut back on there I'll come back and tighten that with the pliers here in a second so now we'll do the same thing with this one Now we'll take the capacitor. And before I let's close the lid real quick, make sure that this so sometimes this capacitor is a little higher than the factory one did. So sometimes this back case will actually hit this this transformer. Yep, it hits a little bit. So now where we plug this capacitor, I mean, you take a, oh, where the hell is it? A pair of snips, you get these two little, these four little plastic pegs right here. They were what went around the old transformer plates to kind of help hold it in place. But now you just gotta give it a little haircut and trim it, some of it off. So now when we put it, put it down in there, it should close. And then we'll test, we'll plug it in, and we'll test our, test our output, I'm sure it'll be nice and high again. Sure, probably 7,000 to 10,000 volts out of it after we're done. Case closed and nice. Let's go ahead and we'll plug it back in. Nice and high. Kind of sparky to throw out this thing. Ice and hot. All right, so this one's ready to go. So we'll put the screws back in it. Call this one done. Got the rainbow looking board in it. All right, there we go. So, if you got one of these old red snapper units or any other brand or model or age unit, newer or older than this one was, we have to take a look at it for you. Our link's down in the description below. Till next time, see you later on. Have a good day.